I'm Andrew Nishimoto, and I am the executive director of Family Promise of the South Bay, which operates Wrigley Coffee here in Long Beach. We are working with families that are experiencing homelessness. To me, that doesn't change who they are. When they're here, when they're behind the counter, they're a barista. The idea of Wrigley really came from multiple sources. So the way I became affiliated with Wrigley Coffee was I have been 20 year friends with Bill White, who, you know, brought me in a community that I met a bunch of people who said, oh, you should meet this guy named Andrew. So I did some projects with Andrew, who um, is affiliated with Family Promise, who then launched Wrigley Coffee. I was excited about Wrigley Coffee, like from the jump, just because I knew who was involved within it. I knew that Family Promise, the people supporting Family Promise, Andrew, and like so many of the other like helping hands, that that was their vision. I knew it was like good souls looking to do something good in the world. My name is Paula Patino. I am the community program manager here at Wrigley. My role consists of developing the job workforce development programs here at Wrigley to work with the participants. I was actually raised here in Long Beach, in the west side of the Long Beach Wrigley area. Growing up, I myself have experienced homelessness as a child, so as an adult, being able to provide those opportunities, I'm able to relate to the clients, individuals that we're serving, and kind of understand where they're coming from. I've been part of programs that helped my family when we were younger. Now I'm here as a first-generation Latina woman that have my master's degree in transformational urban leadership. So it's just a great way of like giving back to my community. So the idea about Wrigley Coffee starting was actually, it came about on a walk. Uh, Andrew Nishimoto and I were walking the neighborhood. He had this idea, he's like, how we really need to find better employment, like trauma-informed employment for the folks who live at the house. Um, what if, and he points across the street, across Willow right here, and he says, what if we took over that, that boarded up shop over there and turn it into a coffee house for the neighborhood? I've been here every day since it's opened, um, at least once a day. And every time I come in, there are neighbors here. I met with a woman from the neighborhood here yesterday, and we were just sitting down and we were talking, and she was saying that she's always kind of wanted to move out and go someplace else, try something new. But literally, she says to me, but since the coffee shop moved in, this feels like so much more of a neighborhood. Like, I just don't think I'll ever leave now. Family Promise, we're looking at different ways we can serve families that are experiencing housing insecurity. COVID hits and we're trying to think of innovative ways that we could continue to serve families in, in different ways. We saw that, hey, employment's a big part of housing. And if there was a way that we could provide some trauma-informed workplace training, we could really set up families for success in the long term. And then we happened to see that there was a building available that used to be a coffee shop. And I was like, hey, I know coffee. Um, and we could save a lot of money on the plumbing and everything because there's already a coffee shop and it's a neighborhood that's super supportive. Why not? Mm -hmm. 
the name actually really speaks to how much we wanted to be in the Wrigley neighborhood of Long Beach. Um, as we were throwing out different things, uh, possibilities for names that conveyed our mission or, or whatever, um, we we're like, really what we want to be conveyed is that the community here is special. So one of the key differentiating factors between what we do here and a typical coffee shop is that we train every one of our employees in trauma-informed care. Each one of us, you, me, we all have trauma. Maybe it's, it's catastrophic trauma or maybe it's minor trauma, but we bring that wherever we go and that impacts how we work. Some of us have either not experienced extreme trauma or have been given the tools to deal with triggers, but some of us haven't. And so what we want to do is we want to provide a space where our trauma does still exist, but where we can examine it and acknowledge it and work through it. We can provide great coffee, community space, and a an workforce development program that actually will produce employees that people will want. So when I think about my hopes and dreams for Wrigley Coffee, for some reason, and I don't know what it is, for Wrigley Coffee, I'm just super excited for our first participant that graduates and gets placed into a full-time position at one of our partner companies, uh, partner businesses. When that happens, when the first participant gets placed, I'm gonna feel like we, we did well because I know that there will be one family that feels more secure, more safe in their future, which is what we wanna provide for our families.